The Honorable Selwyn Romilly was appointed to the BC Provincial Court on November 15, 1974, at the age of 34, one of the youngest appointments to the bench. He was the first black person to be appointed to any court in British Columbia, and only the second black person to be appointed to any court in Canada. He has been described by colleagues and friends as a legal giant. In 1991, he was voted by BC lawyers to be one of the four best provincial court judges in the province. Judge Romilly remained a member of the BC Provincial Court until his appointment to the BC Supreme Court on November 15, 1995. He was the recipient of many awards and recognition from BC, Canada and Trinidad, which included Outstanding Contribution to Criminal Law in BC by the Canadian Bar Association in 2014. He was also recognized for his significant contribution to the black community. I was a provincial court judge for 21 years and a Supreme Court judge for 19 years. I went to the University of British Columbia, graduated from this law school. But quite frankly, law school was a tough time for me. I, I was the only black in law school. This was the 60s when there was a lot of turmoil and you know, the idea of being a judge or how to be a judge is something I didn't even think of. I didn't think it was a possibility that I could be a judge. There were no interracial judges, it was a white bench. I had role models in, in, in law, in the practice of law and what have you, but I didn't even consider role models in the, um, on the bench. After I left the provincial court, I kept writing judgments all the time instead of giving oral judgments. You see, after being on the bench for quite a while and keeping up with the law as I tried to do, very often I could have given my decision off the bench. So I have always taken the position that, you know, I write my judgments as soon as the case is over. I think his legacy will be one that is felt and it, uh, there's, there'll be an impact because he lives on in the hearts and, and minds of the people that he touched during his life. Um, which are so, which are so many. He had, the, you know, when you're a judge for 40 years, and 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 a, uh, he was a lawyer before that. You've impacted a lot of people. Um, whether you, whether even you, you knew it or not, you've impacted a lot of people. Um, and I know from experience that every uh, kid that I talk to, that is coming up through the legal profession, looks up to him as a mentor and as a as a as a role model. I mean, he's one of those people that um, his, he leaves an outsized legacy in the legal profession, in his own community, in the black community, in the West Indian community. Everybody knew who he was, but he would want us to live on in the same value, with, uh, you know, employing the same values that he did, help others, lift others up, and, and, uh, and be as, uh, as beautiful and as positive a member of the community as you can possibly be. Because if you've done that, you've lived a pretty good life. I think that law is a, a fantastic profession. I, I love it. I always loved it. There were very few lawyers in those days. Um, most of my colleagues uh, went to big firms in Vancouver, but I couldn't get articles in Vancouver, and this is what sent me up north. So people of if I might say my caliber, didn't usually go north. <laughs> but there are all these areas that are really nice places to live and you could make a really good living and really make uh, quite a contribution. 